Hello everyone. Thank you for having me. I'm Nabil Mabrouk, a PhD student at University Ibn Tufail. I'm going to present to you the results of our research conducted by me with the contribution of Mr. Marwan Shihab and supervised by Mr. Yunus Shihab. As you can see on the title, our resource is on building a trading strategy in the Forex market based on linear and nonlinear machine learning algorithms. In this presentation, we will follow the following plan. First, we will start with a short introduction to give you a general idea on the background of the topic. Then, we will explain the goal of our resource. After, th after that, the types of forex analysis and our adopted methodology. Next, we will discuss the results to end with a short conclusion. Currency trading. What is trading? Trading is exchanging one item for another one. That means currency trading is the action of exchanging a one type of currency, for example, the dollar, for another one, the euro. In, uh, in Forex, which is a short form of foreign exchange market, investors try to make money by trading. That means they buy a certain amount of currency and hold it on until the exchange rate change or move, then sell it. This action is not easy as it looks like. Due to the forced fluctuation of the market, Traders find it so hard to know if the prices will go up or will go down. In our research, we have tried to resolve this problem by creating a trading strategy based on machine learning algorithms and historical data. A successful trading strategy in Forex should reduce the rate of risks and increase the profitability of investment by considering to economical and political factors and avoiding emotional investment. Of course, investors have already tried to analyze the market. That's why we can find in general three types of analysis. Fundamental analysis, evaluate a stock performance by looking at the fundamentals and macroeconomicals indicators. Technical analysis, they use historical data to build their own strategy by generating technical indicators based on mathematical calculation. These te technical indicators might explain the market. Sentiment analysis, try to understand the sentiment market or understand the general mood in the market. By using machine learning, we can forecast many things like the next price, next returns or next price direction. The goal of our strategy is to forecast the price direction. And for that, we have used two types of machine learning algorithms. The first one is linear algorithms, and the second is the nonlinear algorithms. As a result, we found that both the linear and the nonlinear algorithms have achieved an accuracy between 60% and 72%. For traders, this is a good result. The linear approach was more performant than the nonlinear. In forex trading, the machine learning metrics are not enough to evaluate the profitability of strategy. We used another backtest to evaluate it based on the log returns. The backtest showed that the SVM with a linear kernel gave the best results by reaching 62% of total profits. During the backtest period, the nonlinear approach also showed good results, but not so impressive. It did not exceed 34% of total profit. So to conclude, I will say that in Forex, many factors might impact the state of the market in different ways. This solution is developed and backtested in a specific period of time. It might not stay useful and profitable in the future. Thank you for your attention.